But it's good you were meeting your other contestants. That's a, that commentary is very important for the contest and it shows a lot of maturity. What were you telling them? Were you asking them to step aside for you? Or <laughs> did they ask you to step aside for them? Well, I specifically I had told George to step aside um, because... You had lobbied him to step aside for you? I had told him. Okay. I had told him. I didn't lobby him. I told him that I believe that he's lost the moment. I had told him that I believe that he's not well placed to win the contest, given what we all know in the industry. We know ourselves, okay? Um, I, had told, I had told Palmer to keep it clean. I, I was going to keep it clean, and I've kept it clean throughout. I've told Fred that we have to go clean, same message, same, it's applicable to Nanayao. Again, I have always said this based on the simple premise that we need each other and going forward. Beyond October 25, we need everybody. Every brain is needed for the forward march of our industry. So, again, I was disappointed. I was, I was surprised that- You haven't said about, much about my girl, Amanda. Well, she, she, she comes across as a bit of a surprise, to be honest, because um, proud to her announcement, I had not met her before. Um, I don't know which club she's affiliated to. Um, but she must be affiliated uh, to a club to be to qualify to compete. Not in this contest because um, um, the NC said that um, everybody could contest, so she came through. Okay. Um, yeah. Obviously, she has a lot of work to do because if you are not part of the industry, then you need to get yourself known to the industry players. You need to sell your message. You need to convince people beyond reasonable doubt that you have the capacity to manage a football club, let alone to manage the football association. Mm -hmm. It's a Herculean task for her. It's unfortunate, but it's her prerogative to, to contest. But Asante I don't, I don't, Kotoko I don't surprised everyone. Her. Asante Kotoko surprised everyone by publicly endorsing George Efriye. Is that allowed? Well, I've not heard that, though, to be said. It was published, I read it. I, I've not heard that, for which reason I don't want to speak to that. Um, mm. But yes, is it allowed uh, for clubs to publicly um, endorse candidates before uh, the event? We are individual companies. Uh, individual companies decide what they want to do. Um, so I don't want to comment about what Kotsko uh, has done or intend to do. Having said that, we must all not forget, Paul, that getting endorsements by way of signing of forms can never be equated to you getting the votes mm. from, from the same person. So, yes, you may have gotten one endorsement, two or three or 40 or 50, but 25th October will tell you that there's a clear distinction between endorsing you on the form, just signing a signature and going to the ballot box, believing that you have the capacity and quality to lead Ghana to the promised land where we all look at our industry and say, this is the industry. This is a booming industry. This is an industry that is employing our youth. This is an industry that is keeping the entire, entire nation together. 25th of October, we'll decide this. Fred Papo seems to be in your very good books. Why? We've been part of each other. Um, we've known each other for, for many, many years. In fact, when we speak about Abdul Babaraman, it's because of the relationship we, we had uh, we, or we have with Fred Papo. He was the one who said to us that there's a young boy somewhere, go for him. Okay. Well, Fred um, introduced Babaraman yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, your yeah, setup yeah, at yeah, Dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, we've had an amazing relationship with him. But you're competing with him now. Why didn't yes. you ask it's, him it's to a, step, step aside it's, for you? It's, like I said to you earlier, it's a contest of ideas. Mm -hmm. I feel that I have some amazing ideas. I've always played outside the box. I've introduced some amazing things into the football industry. My Dream CFC has become a model club where everybody look up to. The youth of this country look up to Dream CFC. In fact, a lot of clubs look at what we're doing at Dream CFC, okay? Um, I did this MTN FA Cup and it's become something very special. So I have always believed that I have quality. I have what it takes to, to turn the industry around for us. I give hope to the industry. I'm sure that my good friend Fred also thinks same. So I said to him, okay, you think same? I think same. Let's contest. Mm -hmm. Free and fair.